Okay, well part one of this video had to be rudely interrupted because YouTube will only allow videos of 10 minutes or less and the whole video is 17 minutes. So I've split it in half. If you've missed the first half and you're on YouTube, you can find it in my videos or you can head over to audiblemarketing.com and view the whole series of videos about Audacity. Now I want to put an outro in so I want the same music but I want it to fade up at the end and play us out of the podcast so again I'm going to go to project not file import audio and I'm going to import pimp juice again I'm just doing this so I can say pimp juice basically so click open and it will bring that file in again only in its original state so again we've got it very loud there now we can move these now that these two are aligned the way we want them I'm going to move this one up makes no difference just move it up basically all I did was left click and dragged it up so that it's in closer to this one so that when we start editing it we can zoom in and it's we can see what we're doing so again I'm going to click on the middle one if it isn't already highlighted click on that box because I just want to edit this bit of audio again we're going to go to effect amplify we were minus 12 click OK and it's just going to reduce the, the level of this one track lovely and now the next thing we need to do is fade it up so rather than fading out at the beginning of the track at the end of the audio we want the music to start to get louder and louder so again we just make sure that's highlighted go to effect and this time we're going to click fade in so rather than fade out we're cl clicking fade in so click fade in And as you can see the audio has changed it goes from quiet to loud so and I'm going to do it a second time because as I said this is a particularly long piece of music and I don't want it playing for too long so again fade in if you click fade in watch the wave file here and you'll see that again it's just made it a little bit quieter at the beginning to getting a little bit louder at the end now the question is how do we get that track from there right to the end of the audio well we do exactly what we did before we're going to go to we'll, we're going to go to the end of the audio we're going to zoom in and we're going to pick a place that we think it sounds like um, would be a good place to start bringing the music in so I'm just going to click play of course it will also depend on the length of time you've got left and the length of your music track so <laughs> I don't know if you caught that but that's Alison Reynolds admitting to be a dirty old lady um, you're gonna love it so we want it to come to here and because we're at, it's this track we want to move we're clicking on the track making a line and we're going to go to project align tracks align with cursor click align with cursor and it's moved the track along to the end and if we click play at the moment I can't hear any music playing because of course we've we've set it very quietly it's all gonna fade up But now it's gradually, I'm just starting to hear a tiny bit of music on my headphones. And it's going to fade up. I don't need to hear any more of uh, Alison's laughing. So when we get to this point and I say, you know, at the end of the interview, click play again. and then it will just play to the end of the track now you're going to have to make sure that when you are mixing it like that that you're not at no point is the music too loud for the speech if it gets too loud for the speech then you're going to have to just highlight it again go to effect go to amplify 
and do uh, an amplification like minus 2 or minus 1. I'll just do a minus 1 so you can see it because it, it is a little bit loud. Or you can do the effect again of fading in just to make it, depending on how long the track is, you might find that another fade in uh, would be a good idea. So now I'm quite happy with that. We've got our three different tracks. We've got two bits of music, one at the beginning, one at the end. And I'll just zoom out so you can see how that looks. And if I just, I just have to move that down, you'll see that we've got the intro here. We've got the outro music here and we've got our main recording there. So now you want to mix it all together. In order to do that, you need to select all three tracks. So go to the first box, put your finger on the shift key and click on the box. That's highlighted that one. Um, if that wasn't already highlighted, I've just unhighlighted it. Click it again and that's uh, made sure that one's highlighted and we want this one as well click it and it will highlight it and then you're going to go you can take your finger off the shift key at this point you're going to go to project and go to quick mix and just quick mix the track it's going to take a while so I'm going to pause it and come back to you in a moment It's almost mixed, but because the mixing anyway will take a while, so do expect to have to wait, but particularly because I've got a very large file there um, in terms of the length. I've got 30 minutes worth of audio there, so it's going to take a lot longer depending on the size of the audio you've got. So that's just about mixed down, and you'll see as soon as it mixes, it will just become one track. So basically it will take the three tracks and I was going to say mix them together but that doesn't explain it, basically it squashes them together uh, exactly how you wanted them to sound next to each other and there we have one complete track and if you were to listen and click play you'll, you get the music at the beginning that will lead into the speech and again at the end the speech that will gradually move into the music that will get louder and that is a very very simple and quick way to take some audio and put a little music intro at the beginning and a little bit of music outro at the end and as I said I bought my track from productiontracks.com who I use for most of my royalty free music and when you buy it you simply buy and download it as an mp3 you don't need any of the extras just save it to your computer as a file and then you've got it to work with in the future on Audacity now one final thing we're going to say file export as mp3 and we don't want it in that file we want it actually we will save it in our audio file because that's a useful place to put it and we're going to put that that's um, let's call it uh, swbn podcast one and we just click save and we can put in a title artist album I'm not going to worry about that at the moment just click OK it's going to take a little while to export as an mp3 but then we have our file saved on our computer and we can use it in the future ready mixed with music